Hi, this is Billy McBride. I'm going to be talking about this painting right here. And it is called um, A Rugged Glacier Melting at Sunset. This part is the glacier, the rugged glacier. And you can see the sky in the background. And here is the, uh, the wide sea. So what my plan is to, is to go through a little bit of the elements of this painting so as to just kind of describe how it affects uh, me in a cheerful way. Okay, here it goes. First, I'm going to start kind of small. I'm going to start with the this kind of purpley blue color, which is kind of like a stealthy purple almost. And I'm going to start with the small some of these small objects first. Um, so right here looks like they're little bubbles. Uh, bubble shapes being carry, carrying themselves away. So like these ones are the bubbles that carry themselves away. Um, these ones are kind of like lost bubbles. And for the middle bubbles, they kind of look to me like they are just beginning to be bubbles. So they're beginning bubbles. So the next uh, element is this right here, which is kind of a peaking triangle shape. And so moving on down and, and near the middle is a, right here next to the triangle shape. Oh no, this is the peaking triangle shape. This is the bold bulge uh, that I wanted to point out. And there is one right here which is to me it looks like it's kind of appearing from this bottom area uh, up to this top to cut it off. And so the next one would be this handsome shape uh, that fills my fit that fo that seems to follow these bubbles that are being uh, moving to the edge of the painting. And um, for the purple, this shape right here is kind of an acrobatic. A shape that levels itself out on this level. And so also going down a little bit, there's this shape right here, which to me looks like an elegant flame, but not a in a bright flame, but a dark, an elegant dark purple, stealthy purple flame. And then to the to the left of it is this creeping caterpillar shape right here. And up to the top, right here, it's the end of this longer piece that points over to the left right here. So this purple place uh, right there is, is kind of an end. Next, right here is kind of a muscle or a bicep uh, of the painting at the top. And the shape that's right here is kind of just a solemn shape to kind of fit in there. Uh, this triangle right here uh, is the work, the working wedge, I like to think of it as. So it kind of works as a wedge. Now for some of the yellow pieces at the top, there's this inspiring saw shape, inspiring saw shape. And then below that, is a beautiful walkie-talkie shape um, to me like right here would be the antenna and then this whole thing would be the beautiful walkie-talkie to the right of it is a kind of a, a wallflower shape and then right here is a pretty stealth shape kind of shaped like the, the those pretty stealth airplanes and then to the left of that would be a friendly mitten, kind of like a mitten grabbing on to this piece right here, hanging on for its life before it falls down onto um, the C part underneath it. <clears throat> so with the orange, it's kind of like a lively uh, orange for the sunset. And this whole like flooded flood is very generous. Uh, going 
to up and, and across diagonally. Um, and find there's a kind of a uh, indicative figure finger uh, shape right here of the orange too, of this lively orange color. And also, now for the C down here, um, I don't have a lot to say about that, um, except that this n water is kind of like a, a negotiating water to me, where you get these thin strips of yellow, uh, thin strings and stripes stringing thinly uh, yellow, and then you get this kind of attentive land part, which is kind of like the bottom of the iceberg um, in the corner. It's attentive and it's in that kind of like that stealthy purple color. All right, so that's my painting. I hope that somebody might enjoy listening to me go on about these forms within the form. And so this is the painting I have, an abstract painting called A Rugged Glacier Melting at Sunset, made this year in 2022. Thanks for watching.